Ever wondered what artists really think about their own creations? Join me as I review my abstract collection and share the lessons I've learned. Hi there, I'm Janine. I'm an artist and I share my creative journey on this channel. I've recently finished a series of paintings. Once I've completed a collection, I like to review my work to see what I can take forward to the next and what I want to change up. This time, I'll let you in on my process. So these are all the pieces from my series together, all eight of them. The inspiration for the series was that I was kind of longing for a bit more mental space because there was a lot going on around me. So I wanted a balance to all the busyness, which is why I wanted to work with this concept of spaciousness. And I really wanted the pieces to evoke feelings of uh, being balanced and at ease, and then also with occasional bursts of energy. I am very happy with how I portrayed that in the pieces. There's a lot of spaciousness in the form of these um, larger colour fields, or really very light fields. And then also little bits of bursts of energy where you have those really scribbly marks and areas where there's a lot more going on. And I think I balanced the two pretty nicely in each, in each piece. I printed a few uh, detail shots of bits I do really like. So I want to make some notes of that. Overall you can see there's a lot of lightness and then very subtle marks within those areas, like l transparent layers of a different colour like you can see here or here, or where I scraped and revealed a little bit of what was in the layers underneath. Then here are some marks that I found really interesting. For example here where I scraped through or this where I had scraped away some of the wet paint and then went over with a transparent layer of Neo Color 2 crayon. And then this really happened by accident where I had a lot going on in the layer underneath and there was a lot of raised texture that I had painted over all with this light color. When I scraped away the texture, the colors from underneath um, came through. And this again was scraping into wet paint, I believe. And I also really like the very subtle mix of colours everywhere, like here with this pop of a bright yellow, but that's just really tiny. And then here there's again a little bit of raised texture that you can see. Here are some more marks that I really liked. So this is just scribbles of a Neo Colour 2 that I didn't um, dilute with water. I also really like the contrast of this brush mark, which is just um, very bright white. And here again, very subtle colours. And I really like this dark edge next to this very bright area. But you can see that even in the bright area, there's a lot of subtle texture where I've scraped over the wet paint. And then here again, very subtle texture. That might be a Neo Colour 2 again. Or not even so subtle. I really like the mixture of different colours and textures, especially in this area here. Then here, this was actually a collage piece where I'd scraped um, marks into the uh, wet paper on the collage piece and then because it is on um, tissue paper, the areas where there wasn't any paint or just very little paint like these marks became translucent and they show what's underneath on the painting. And then I also really like the contrast of this very solid colour here and there are lots of transparency. here. I kind of repeated the mark that was in the collage paper, which I really like. And also I really like how all the colours are working together, this like browny pink, and the lighter version of that, and the very soft muted blue and bits of yellow. Here's some more interesting texture. I really love playing with texture in this series. So here again that's a Neo Colour 2 um, no, that isn't actually. That's not a Neo Color 2. This is this is some very diluted paint, same as here. And I had already sanded a little bit um, that white layer. Not white. I had already sanded a little bit this light layer because there was blue underneath already. So it was more the taking paint off and adding more back on top. I also actually really like these 
lines here. And here again, very subtle texture. I can't even remember how I made this. It's very uh, blended. And then here, there's a lot of different colours where there's only bits shining through. And again, a lot of variation in within the light colour. And then also areas where there's where it's a bit more solid. I often talk about texture and what I really mean is visual texture. It's not necessarily that there's a raised texture. Sometimes there's like on like on this bit. But usually it's uh, usually I mean visual texture here. Because if you touched it, you wouldn't really feel a raised surface. It's all smooth. And then here there's a few bolder bits in terms of colour. I actually really like these marks with the brush stroke and also this little bit within the larger marks. And I also like that gradient. Here again lots of colour variation, especially variation within the within each value. So this yellow and the red is kind of the same value. And then this dark area is actually, this is more blue and then this is more of a red shade but it reads as one because it's the same value. And by value, I just mean the lightness or darkness of the color. This was probably one of my favorite bits where I've scraped into the, scraped over the wet paint and then it revealed all that colorful texture underneath. And also how all these colors are merging together. Again, I have no idea how I really made this. I would have to watch my video again. And also the contrast of the bright colors next to the more muted blue and this darker shade or in this case for, with bright i mean saturated color if you like this video consider subscribing a few things i enjoyed in particular or that i kind of discovered that i really liked during this series were that scraping over the wet paint to create transparent layers like I did here and here for example and in lots of other areas. And the other thing I kind of discovered was the layering with Neo Color. So where I've added Neo Color and then used a wet brush to turn it kind of into a glaze, which I guess you could just use with normal paint and create a glaze. But I particularly enjoyed that I scribbled on some marks and then left bits of it and then washed away some other bits of it. Like here, this is a wash of Neo Color it was all the blue, this kind of blue, and then it went over with a brown neo color and blended it. The main things I learned from this series is kind of how it really emphasized for me how important um, or how useful a limited color palette is, because I've used a version of each primary and obviously white and then a dark neutral, which was the raw umber. And I also pre-mixed a few colors which I used across most of the paintings. For example, this muted pink color or this darker color, even the light blue. And that really helped to create a cohesion across all the pieces. And I did make a video on how I created that color palette and pre the colors. And I also, um, before the series, was always trying to go more into color feels. And because in this series, I wanted to create a lot of spaciousness, I think I've really achieved that in a lot of them, especially like here where there's a lot of light area or here, pretty much in all of them. What I really would like to explore further in my next body of work is really this transparent layering. I have always used layers of transparency in my work, but I keep on discovering new techniques like the neo color glazing and I'd really like to explore that further and ex um, experiment with more different techniques, how I can layer transparently. And the other thing I would like to focus on a bit more is creating that spaciousness, but on a larger scale. All these pieces were 12 by 12 inches, which is fairly small. And I want to go back to painting bigger pieces and trying to make space work on a larger format. It would also be quite interesting for me to figure out if I can express spaciousness in a different form than just larger color fields. I don't quite know how, but that'd be interesting to me to explore. And what I would like to change up in the next series is vary the size of the substrate, so not paint on 
one size the whole way through. You'll have a few smaller ones, a few larger ones, and of course, paint larger pieces. So I'm very happy with the series, and in fact, I would even like to work a bit more on the same subject of having the mental space, creating spaciousness in the painting, and balancing it with a little bit more energetic areas. I hope this has inspired you to maybe look at your own work in a different way. I have also made a video how I review my series during the painting process when I get stuck. You can watch that up here. Thanks and bye bye!